today I'm going to show you guys what none of my dolls are wearing and I recently dressed them up for fall and by the way I do have a cold so sorry if my voice it sounds a little weird but in no particular order let's get started. The first doll I have here is Whitney and she's my just like you 25. She's wearing the super cute dress from American Girl from the jumper and boots outfit. Her top is from the coconut cutie outfit from American Girl. And she's wearing some black tights from Samantha's collection, and these ones are from her Not Be Forever ones, her old American Girl ones. So they are a lot thicker, and they have some ridged lines in them. And then, of course, we can't have a fall outfit without some boots, and she's wearing Josephina's boots, which are really cool, and they're kind of like combat boots. She also has Sage's earrings in, and the dangly ones are from her accessories. And then for her hair, I have pulled out some front pieces to frame her face, and then pulled back some of the hair on this side, which you can't really see since I've tied it back underneath her hair. And then I have just clipped back the rest to on the other side. The next doll I have here is Mia, and she's Girl of the Year 2008. She's wearing this top from her collection, which is part of her two-in-one hockey outfit. These shorts from the old hiking outfit from American Girl. And some black tights from Samantha's Be Forever collection and Addie's boots from her shoes and socks, which I think really complement this outfit. As for her hair, I pulled out some front pieces and I actually trimmed them a bit. And then I French fishtailed the rest of her hair back and then pinned it to the back of her head. The next doll I have here is Grace, and she is Girl of the Year 2015. I have put Rebecca's school dress on her, which I really like because the black and white are really versatile, and she is totally rocking this sweater from Sage's collection. The bright colors of the fall really bring out this outfit, and you really can't go wrong with some fun boots for fall, which I think really go well with this sweater. She's not wearing any earrings for this outfit, so I didn't want to take away from the beautiful sweater and boots. I have pulled out this front part of her hair just to line the side of her head, and I have lace braided the front of her hair and then brought it back into a small bun. Here is Crystal and she is my just like you number 30. She's wearing this white top from the Sporty Winter outfit and I gave it a little blue pocket which I think complements these blue shorts which are from McKenna's 2-in-1 practice outfit. I also gave her this green jacket from the old hiking accessories which I think gave it the perfect fall touch. Sticking with the fall theme, she is wearing some white tights from Samantha's collection, and then I paired this with some black boots, which you can purchase separately in American Girl. In this outfit, I really mashed together some really outdoorsy pieces with some pretty sophisticated pieces, so I couldn't help but add some earrings, and these ones go on the more sophisticated side, which are Grace's Eiffel Tower danglies and some blue ones from the Birthstone earring set. And then to go with those earrings, I decided to give her a very messy ponytail, which goes more on the outdoorsy side of her outfit. I just pulled out some small layered pieces and then pulled it back into a high pony. Here I have Max, and he is my boy doll kit. He has this great t-shirt from Pleasant Company American Girl, and I think this outfit looks really great on him with the high neckline and then underneath it to make it more of a fall outfit I have put this olive green top from the jumper and boots outfit. I've rolled down these dark blue pants from the Weekend Fun Up from American Girl and then paired those with kids boots and I didn't completely tie laces just because I thought it gave it a more rustic outdoorsy look. Since he is my boy doll he pretty much has the same hairstyle day in and day out but for this fall look I decided to add this sock hat which is just a cut off sock but it looks nice on the dolls as a hat. Next, I have Lainey, and she is Girl of the Year 2010. This has to be my favorite outfit that I came up with because I love the black leotard I use as the top, which has the smaller sleeves, which gives it more of a sophisticated look. And then she has this really long, beautiful skirt, which was Josephina's historical meat skirt, and I just think it has the perfect combination of floral, black, white, and this beautiful red color. As for our shoes, to go along with the black theme, I decided to use these black boots from Abby's collection. Now, I thought the outfit looked a little too sophisticated for fall, so then I added this navy blue sweatshirt from this old outfit from American Girl. I think this jacket gives the outfit the perfect balance between really pretty and fall. For her hair, I have just pulled it back into a side bun, and if you want to learn how to do the perfect ballet bun, I'll have a video on that later. Here's Ashley, and she's my My American Girl doll number 38. She's wearing this white lace top that I made myself, but you can definitely just use any white top you'd like. And then she's wearing Grace's City shorts, which give this outfit a very classy look, and it pairs nicely with the lace top. 
But since it is fall, I decided to add a pop of color. So that's why I put this red flannel with it, which also has some green and blue in it. And the red in the jacket goes perfectly with these red boots from Caroline's Travel Outfit. I really like these boots because they give just the right balance between sophisticated and edgy. Lately, I've been keeping these red boots and this lace top on Ashley and then switching out the bottoms and the jackets. Originally, I had her hair down without this headband, but I decided to put it on anyways just to see how it would look. So this is just a ribbon cord gold thing with a bow. And this is what she looks like without the headband, but I think I like it without the headband better. Next, I have McKenna, and she's Girls of the Year 2012. The outfit I put her in is kind of a spin-off of Mary Ellen's poodle skirt outfit. To make this a full outfit, I decided to use this coral sweater from Isabel's collection, but it's a similar color to Mary Ellen's poodle skirt blouse. And since I don't have that outfit, I decided to use this skater skirt, which is sort of a modern twist off of the poodle skirt. The black skater skirt is from a holiday purchase of purchase from last year. Since this is a fall outfit, I decided to pair these cream socks with this outfit, which are from Addie's Choosing Socks, and then Caroline's pink flats, which come with her. This outfit couldn't be completed without a hairstyle, so I had this French fishtail braid going back into a high ponytail. It's finished with this little handout that was given out at Mary Ellen's release. The last doll I have here is Isabel, and she's Girl of the Year 2014. The combination between McKenna's school outfit sweater and McKenna's coming outfit are kind of a staple in my collection. I always put them on my doll since I really like them paired together. After I got Sage's sweater outfit, which the jeggings she is wearing, I started pairing them with this outfit as well since I thought it gave it a nice touch. I also just got the purple jumper and boots set, and the boots work perfectly with the purple and green. The boots also have a little bit of a heel on them, which I think gives it a nice touch. I didn't go too fancy on her hair, I just had pulled it back in the front and then tied it in the back. So thank you for watching this video, comment, like, and subscribe for more, and have an awesome day.